Now, if you want, uh, you can title your paper Section 4-4, all right? And today, we'll be writing equations of lines that are parallel, and we'll be writing equations of lines that are perpendicular. But again, if you get behind, it's going to be really hard to catch up, all right? So let's take a look, first and foremost, at question number one. All right, but before I do that, I need to get rid of these examples because we're not doing the word problems right now. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to start with question number two. All right, now for question number two, or I'm sorry, question number one. It says, write an equation in slope-intercept form for the line that passed through the given point and parallel to the graph of the given equation. Well, for whatever reason, that's kind of hard for kids to understand, all right? But basically, it goes like this, and I tell kids all the time, you will be writing equations of lines and discussing slope for as long as you do math, all right? As a matter of fact, there's a class that you'll be taking probably when you're a junior called calculus that devotes a whole semester on slope. All right, that's how important slope is. The slope is a rate of change, and there's a lot to study. But this, all right, you will even be doing in that class as well. You'll have to be writing equations of lines, all right, that are parallel and that are perpendicular. And so this is the introduction. Now, in the past, I haven't had the right technology to kind of get a good visual. And I think if I can show you the visual, you will be able to understand it better. All right, so in order for me to give you a visual, I have to teach you how to put the point on the graph. And yesterday, we already graphed the line. So that should be the easy part. Plotting the point is going to be a little bit harder because you've got to listen. All right, so we're going to start with that. <coughs> All right, I'm going to have you graph this point or plot this point, and you're going to graph this line. Now, in order to graph that point, you've got to listen carefully, all right? On your calculator, there is a stat button, all right? Hit the stat, all right? And then, once you hit the stat, I need you to hit edit, which is the first thing. Now, everybody should have L1, L2, L3, L4, and L5 across the top, all right? Now, again, all I want you to do is show me your calculator. The stat button is spelled S-T-A-T. Everybody in here has the ability to find that button. All right, I'm not going to show you where it is. You're going to have to. Now, on L1, L2, there should be no numbers in there. All right, there should be no numbers. All right, if there's numbers in there, you can clear it out. All right. Now, at the top, there should be L1 and L2. All right, is everybody there? Now, L1, L1 is going to be the X coordinates, and L2 is going to be the Y coordinates. So what I need you to do for L1 is hit negative 1, then hit Enter, and then go over to 2, I mean L2, and type in 2, and hit Enter. Now, from there, all right, I want you to hit the Zoom Standard button. Now, do you have a, a Y, it, it, under Y equals, do you have any graphs? First, go to Y equal and make sure there aren't any graphs from yesterday. Yeah. I don't want you asking her. You're asking me. All right? So, negative 1, 2. Perfect. Go to Y equals. Nothing there. Now, go to Zoom. Everybody go to Zoom Standard, Zoom 6. Now, is that point on the graph yet? No. no, the reason it's not on the graph yet is because you have not allowed the calculator to plot points. You have to be able to tell the calculator, okay, calculator, it's okay to plot the points. All right, so in order to do that, I need everybody to go to Y equals now. And above, there's a plot 1, plot 2, plot 3. Does everybody see that? Go up to plot 1 and hit enter. And when it's gray, that means that it will, you can plot the points now. So now hit graph. 
Magic, right? Does the point come up? Yeah, enter. It's gray. Now hit grab. Bingo. There you go. Now, if your if your calculator doesn't have the point, you just gotta let me know real quick. What's the matter? I mentioned mismatch. I told everybody that they had to zoom standard first. All right. Now that means you didn't enter it in correctly. Go to stat. Edit. Stat. Edit. Enter. And enter. You didn't put. There's an eight right there. Go down. Delete. Now grab. Now you're Look at that. Okay, I need everybody's attention now. Everybody good on that? Everybody good? All right, now what I need everybody to do is this. I want everybody to go to y equals. And now everyone has to type in 1 half x minus 3. Now everybody type in 1 half x minus 3 and then hit graph. Now you have a point and you have a line. Does everybody agree? Your job, your job is to now try to find the equation of the line that's parallel to the line that's there that goes through that point. Everybody with me? That's what our job is. All right? So in order to do that, all right? What is this? Okay. Now, everybody go. Uh, has everybody got the line now and the point? All right, now we're going to get to the math. All right? Come on, guys. Come on. He can talk for himself. Ian, are you okay or not? All right? Everybody. Everybody's got to learn to talk for themselves. I can't help you if you don't want to help yourself. All right? Now, here we go. Now for the math. All right? When two lines are parallel, they have the same slope. All right? So when lines are parallel, they have the same slope. So in this line up here, y equals 1 half x minus 3, what is the slope? What is the slope in number 1? 1 half. Very good. It's 1 half. Right? It's the number in front of the x. So the slope of that line is 1 half that you typed in. So now watch the notation. The slope of the parallel line is going to equal what? Somebody tell me who was listening. One half. Very good. All right. So the slope of the parallel line is one half. Now, in order to write the equation of line, you need two things. You need what? A and a slope and a. Now, y-intercept would be good, but what is actually a y-intercept? A y-intercept is a point. Very good. So in order to write the equation line, you need a point and a... It just so happens that the y-intercept is a special point. All right? That would make it much easier. So whenever somebody says write the equation line, you need a slope and you need a point. Right now, we know the what? Slope. And we also know the, so that's the information. As someone, as soon as someone tells you that, you now should be able to write the equation. Now it's slope and a point, so we should probably use point slope, point slope, slope form. So who can write the equation this line in point slope form? Go. Um, y plus 1. Wait a minute. Oh, sorry, sorry. Don't be sorry. Y what? Minus 2. Yes, y minus 2. Beautiful. That's the equation of line. Unfortunately, I can't use that line to put into the calculator. So I need to put it in slope intercept form. Dalton, do you have a problem? What do you mean? It's this point right here, Dalton. Right, it's already there. You good? All right, so now we're going to solve this. Y minus 2 equals 1 half X plus 1 half. Now, I'm sure I don't have to tell you guys, if I say 1 half plus 2, 
Everybody's going to just tell me it's what? Not two and one half either. What is two plus one half? Uh, one. one half x what? Come on. Plus what? Five. Yes, plus five over two. We had one person who knew that. That's pretty good. Just kidding. That's awful. All right. Now, how did I get five halves? Because one half plus two, if you have two pizzas, you have how many halves? Four. Four halves plus one half. Today is five halves. Everybody good with that? All right. So now, under Y2, under Y2, I want you to graph one half X plus five halves. And be prepared to be dazzled. Graph that. Type in on your calculator, one half x. I don't know, we're typing in things. One half x plus two. What? What are you saying? <laughs> what are we typing yeah. in? Are you saying? Oh. One half x plus one. Yes, I can see. It's amazing. The lines are what? And they pass through that given point. Very good. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. So you this is what I said. I watched you now. Oh, no, don't take credit for that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stay with me. Hey, now, listen. Now's the time. I, I, I've been fussing at a couple kids, and partly because I'm watching you. You got to listen. Stay with me. When I ask you to graph the line, I mean graph the line right away. All right, you got to stay awake. Anybody have any questions? On your calculator, you should have a line, you should have a point, and you should have another line that's parallel to the first line that goes through that point. That's what you should have. All right, if you've got that, you are in fantastic shape. You're in fantastic shape. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to now, we're going to try problem number two. But before you do that, I want you to look up. I'm changing the point because I don't like that point. All right, we are going to use the point um, negative three, negative four. All right, we're going to use the point negative three, negative four. I'm changing that up. All right. So now what I want to do is I need for you to change that point that's been plotted. So you're going to stat, edit, and then you type in negative 3, negative 4. Bless you. All right. Clear it out if you want. Or you could go to what I said to do first. Stat, edit. And then put in these numbers, negative 3, negative 4. All right? Once you do that, go to y equals, clear out the y equals, and then you're going to add negative 4x plus 5. And then you're going to graph. And then you turn your calculator and let me see what you just did. When it's in there. Let me look. Let me look. Show me when you're done. Show me when you're done. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Good. Hubble. You there? I'm scared. Show me. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, here we go. Okay, now, all right, we got to continue. Stay with me. Now, your job is 
to tell me what the slope of the parallel line would be. What's the slope? Negative four, thank you very much. Passing through the point negative three, negative four. So now, what is the equation? Yes. Beautiful. All right. Now we're going to solve it for y. And so y equals negative 4x minus 16. Does anybody have any questions with that? Anybody have any issues? Now let's see how good we are. All right, under y2, type in negative 4x minus 16 and graph it and see if it's parallel and it goes through that point. How is it? Perfect, of course. All right, now listen, once again, I can't help you. Nothing I can do if you don't want to help yourself. Hubble, you good back there now? All right, so I'm feeling pretty good now. Feeling pretty good. You got it? Girls in the back. You get it? Boys? Hey, one more time now. Sorry. Hey guys, I, I appreciate the enthusiasm. Here we go. Listen, the slope of a parallel line. The slopes are always what? The same. The slopes are always the same. So when we talk about parallel, hey, when we talk about parallel lines, you have to remember, slopes are equal. All right, what makes the lines different? The y-intercept. All right, that's what makes the line different. All right, now, you did a fantastic job with parallel. Now we're going to go into the perpendicular section. All right, perpendicular. Because that was so easy, the perpendicular is going to be easy also. Yay. Now, for us right now, bless you, we're getting rid of this. All right, and now we're going to talk about question number seven. All right, we're going to talk about question number seven. So it says, write an equation in slope-intercept form for the line that passed through the given point and is perpendicular to the graph of the given equation. So here we go. You don't know how to do it because we don't know the relationship between the line and a line that is perpendicular. So that's something I would have to tell you. All right? So if two lines are perpendicular, their slopes are negative reciprocals. What does that mean? So I'm going to write something on the board so you can see for yourself. If the slope is two-thirds, now watch the symbol. The slope of the perpendicular, that's the symbol for perpendicular. The slope of the perpendicular would be negative three over two. All right? So whenever you have perpendicular lines, you find what the slope is. The slope of the perpendicular line will be the negative reciprocal. All right? So two-thirds, reciprocal is three over two. If it's positive here, it's going to be what? Negative. Negative over here. Now I'm going to say if the slope, let's say, was this. Let's say the slope was negative 7. The slope of the perpendicular would be? Seven. 1 over 7. That is correct. Now get the hang of it, please. Listen to what I'm saying. Just listen. When I say the slopes are negative reciprocals, negative is not the sign negative. Another word for negative is the opposite. Sometimes people say it's the opposite reciprocal. You're smart enough if I tell you the negative. If it's negative, that means it's going to be positive. If it's positive, it's going to be negative. That's what that means. And then, of course, you're real familiar with reciprocal. The numerator becomes the denominator. The denominator becomes the numerator. 
What? Um, on two thirds, when it becomes negative three over two, wouldn't the two negatives cancel each other out? I don't have any idea what you're asking me, man. None. Okay. All I'm simply saying is this. If you want perpendicular lines, one sign is positive and the other is what? Negative. That's all. I don't have any idea. I'm not asking for any of what you just said. So, is this slope positive? Yes. Yeah, then this slope is? Negative. If this slope is um, negative, negative, then this slope is? Um, that's the end of the story, man. That's it. All right? Now, outside of the big opposite signs, if they're perpendicular, they will be reciprocals of each other. All right? Anybody have any questions? All right. What? Is the um, two-thirds part calculated? I'm just making these examples up for you. All right? So now we're going to get busy. All right? So now what I want you to do is... Number seven, all right? The slope of the perpendicular would equal what? <clears throat> What's the slope of the perpendicular, Patrick? Two over one. Two over one, but we can just say two because we're brilliant. And it passes through what point? Negative two, comma three, all right? So now, first thing you have to do is you have to change things up. On your calculator, put in the point negative 2, 3, and then graph the line y equals negative 1 half x minus 4. Come on, you should be getting better at it. Shouldn't take you that much time. Yes, go to stat and then edit. Stat and edit. All right, then show me what you have on your calculator. I want to see the point and I want to see the line. Now, if you have a horizontal line, listen, guys, you got to remember, one of the biggest mistakes kids make is they forget to put the X in. All right, so make sure as you're typing in something, you don't forget the X. All right? Because it shouldn't be a horizontal line. It should not be a horizontal line. All right, now I want someone new. Tell me what the equation line for number seven will be. What do we got? Come on, somebody tell me the equation for number seven. No, someone new. Thank you, Mr. Osborne. Uh, y minus three equals two times two x. You're amazing. That's it. That's it. All right. Now, you should be doing a better job mentally of figuring this out. All right, let's do the mental math on this. When you distribute, go ahead. Tell me. Wait, I have a I'm I'm listening. When you're like you put the y equal to negative 2x minus 4. No, 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 no. Listen. The original equation. Oh, the original line is what you want. Oh, negative one so, half. Right. So type in negative one half x minus 4. Negative one half. Um, it's 1 minus 3 equals 2x plus 4. And then? Uh, oh, yeah. You get minus 3. Uh -huh. And then? Well, you said y equals, or y minus 3 equals 2x plus 4. So you add the 3. Yes. So it would be y equals? All right, everybody good with this? Y equals 2x plus 7. You actually multiply. All right, now under y2, now under y2, everybody type in y equals 2x plus 7. Now, does everybody remember what I said? When you have perpendicular lines, this is what I'm saying, their intersection is a right angle. Hear me out. That's what perpendicular means. Now, you're not listening to me. 
Remember, perpendicular means lines that cross at a right angle. Did we get it correct or are we incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect, incorrect right? Yes. Because if you look at your calculator, that's not a right angle. Would you agree? Yes. It's not a right angle. Now, again, can someone tell me why they think it's not a right angle? Because you know I don't make mistakes with my math. So, of course, that's the right answer, but the calculators tell me it's not the right answer. So, who do you think's right? You. Of course, but why? Because you're the calculator is wrong. That's true. You are the calculator. The calculator is wrong. No, no, no. Listen, there is a really good explanation for those of you guys who know a little bit about computer screens. What? What's well, happening? Oh, you can't make the right Oh, we have to do Tell us right here. Yes, brilliant, brilliant. Can you explain what that's Why? Hey, hey, listen to me now, please. Explain what the distortion is. The screen is, yes, they're called pixels. Yes, that is true. But there is a, there is a reason, hey, there's a reason why it's distorted. And I want someone to be able to, it's, it's obvious. Look at your screen. What type of screen is it? Standard. It is supposed to be a what? Square, but it's a rectangle. So listen, look carefully. Look carefully at your screen. Your screen is not a square. It's a rectangle. And so, hey, listen, guys. Look, look. I'm trying to get done now. All I'm asking is for your attention. The reason it's messed up is because your x-axis is actually longer than your what? y-axis. Therefore, the distance or the space between each x is bigger than the distance between each what? y. All right, so now to show you how good we are, I want you to go to zoom. Go to zoom, not fit. There is a button on there that's square. What that zoom square does is that squares the screen so the X is the same distance as the Y. Now, if you hit zoom square, now look at it. Now it is a what? Yes. Now, hey, now it looks. Why don't we just do that? I honestly think they should do that. But because the reason why they don't do that is because it's just a 10 by, it's better to look at a 10 by 10 square, right? And so for whatever reason, I, I personally feel like they should add that into the, to the program. And I don't remember exactly what the reason is, um, because I think it has to do with the pixels. So what they do is they adjust each pixel to a different width. So you're saying right. scientists mess it up? No, no, actually, yes, yes. No, actually, yes, yes, they did actually. But here's what I want. I'm trying to tell you this. I want you to look at this. If I were making a, this calculator up, what I would probably do is to solve the problem is just make a square screen, not a rectangular screen. All right, because I think that would solve a lot of the problems. But I'm just trying to get you aware, make you aware. In the grand scheme of things, does it really matter if it's a square screen or not? No, because you're smart enough to know that if the slopes are negative reciprocals, that angle that's going to be created is a what? Is a right angle. And that's what it means to be perpendicular. All right? So now what I want to do is I want to jump over and look at question number nine. At question number nine. All right, so stay with me now on question number nine. Why? Let's go to edit and, and, and clear everything out. And I want you to come on. All right. We're doing number nine. So I want you to stack, edit, and I want you to put in the two and the three. Now, why do we have a problem for the equation starting out? It's in standard form. It's in standard form. Thank you very much. So I've got to convert from standard to what? To slope intercept. Crushed it again. All right. Here we go. All right. So I've got to go from standard to slope intercept. So I want everybody to do that. I have 2x plus 3y equals 4. Throw the 2x over. 3y equals negative 2x plus 4. And now I divide everything through by 3. 
So y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4 thirds. Everybody see that? Everybody should be okay with that. Does everybody agree? Yes. Yeah. All right. So now what your job is to go ahead and graph that under y1. Graph that under y1. And then take a look and make sure on your screen you have a point and make sure that you have a, um, a line. Now listen, I really need you to focus because we're winding class down and you have to be good at this. All right, I don't want any excuses tonight. I don't want your parents calling me and saying, oh, my poor baby didn't know how to do it on his calculator. I get enough of those emails every day. All right? <laughs> Here we go. Listen, now I want someone who's paying attention. I want someone to tell me what the slope of the perpendicular line would be. Um, um, three, three over two. Yes, sir, three over two. And we're still going through the point. 2 comma 3, is that correct? Somebody else, give me an equation of a line now. Give me the equation. Equation of the line. Uh-huh. Shh, I'm listening. So that'd be 2, so that would be 37 over... Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Shh, hold on, hold on. Here's what I got. Point slope. Shh. Yep, point slope. So that would be... Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. I messed up. So Go. y minus 3 Good. equals, now it would be 3 over 2. Yep. And now it would be, in parentheses, x minus 2. Uh, there it is, right there. Action. So here we go. All right. So that's the first part of the equation. So, so you're under L, so L, 2, 3. Y equals negative two thirds x plus four thirds. You worry about you. You're in good shape. All right. Now we're going to graph this line right here. All right. First, we have to distribute y minus three equals three halves x minus three. And then when I do what? Add 3. Y equals 3 halves X. Does everybody agree? Yes. All right. Now, here's the critical point. I I'm trying to tell some of you guys, I don't care what your neighbor is doing. I don't want you making corrections with your neighbor. I want you to try to figure it out. Now, you will know you've done something incorrect when you graph these. If it doesn't go through the point, that's incorrect. All right, if it's not perpendicular, that's incorrect. Then you learn eventually to go back and try to find your mistakes. All right, now listen, the one thing I can say about today is everybody in here is allowed to make a mistake without someone saying something. All right, and I call on different people for different reasons. All right, I want them to make a mistake. I want them to get involved. I want them to say something. I don't care if it's right or it's wrong. All right, I'm trying to make sure everybody knows what we're talking about. And the people who should be talking are the ones who don't know. That's what I would prefer because I'm trying to get them involved. Now, I just said something really important about you're doing it on your own for a reason. You're able to check your work for a reason because eventually when you make a mistake, you're going to have to find your mistake. And if someone's always looking over your shoulder trying to show you your mistake, then you're not really learning. All right, this is the time that you learn. When you graph this now, if that line doesn't go through that point perpendicular to the other line, you made a mistake. If it's perpendicular and it goes through the point and it goes through the line, then you did everything correct and you know exactly what you're doing. All right, so you're judging that right now. All right. And if you have a question, I'll come around and show you. What? How do you get three halves x? Or, y minus 
You don't. You don't know how to do three, three halves times two is what? We're not going to say anything about that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.